Welcome everyone to my first YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do my get ready with me, what I usually do when I get ready just on an everyday. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit cute for work, but not too much. You know what I'm talking about? Exactly. So I'm going to show you guys that um, and just talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So usually to get my hair out of the way, I usually just do that. First I prep my skin with moisturizer, uh, L'Oreal Hydrogenous, bomb. My friend Antonia got me hooked to this, so yeah. What do you guys usually do when you guys are getting ready in the day for work? Are you the type that listens to music? Are you guys that five minute person that's always rushing? That's usually me. <laughs> I usually have my boyfriend like drive so I could do my makeup in the car. So I totally get that. Um, so after I do my moisturizer, I'll usually let it set for a little bit um, just so that my skin can kind of soak it in and stuff. And then I usually just do my face for my like everyday kind of thing. I pretty much do like a full face. And then I just do something really, really simple in the eyes. Maybe like a transition color, something a few shades lighter, darker than my skin tone. And maybe like an inner corner highlight if I'm feeling it. And that's pretty much it. Put a little bit of mascara on. And that's my everyday kind of makeup look. Um, So the foundation that I'm currently hooked on is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation. Um, it's literally like a few dollars, guys, a few dollars. Now, if you are sensitive to smell, a lot of people have complained that it smells a little weird. I'm not really that into like smells or anything like that. I don't, it doesn't bother me, but it does have a smell, kind of like that foundation-y, a little chemically smell. But like I said, I'm not that, like sensitive to um i'm sorry if my mirror, my mirror is bothering you actually i'm gonna zoom you guys in give me one second boom so now that you guys are a little bit up close you guys can kind of see what's going on a little bit here so like i said went and wild um this is the foundation that i've currently be using i am not really into primer since I do moisturizer, I at least have a barrier between my skin and the foundation, but I'm not really that into primer. I do want to get into it in like a luminizing one because like it's winter time over here in New England. So yeah, but let me know if you guys have any primers that you guys really like, um, both affordable and high end. And then I'll see if I can check them out. So with this, I literally just painted on my face. And with this foundation, I like to work half of my face at a time because um, it can dry down a little fast. So I'll do about half of my face. I do most of the foundation in my cheek area because that's when I need where I need the most coverage. And I always make sure to bring it down my neck. You don't want to look like you have a mask on, girl. That's not the look we're looking for. It's not Halloween right and um i have two beauty sponges i don't really have a preference one is the pure one the other one is the contour and highlight sponge by morphe i believe i don't really have a preference but i always have two and you'll see why um in a little bit so i'll just take um one of the sponges and kind of just blend that in i personally like to do sponge usually over like a brush because i feel like I, one, I don't like cake face, and I feel like I can go overboard on the foundation and the blue. Beauty Blender can kind of soak up some of the product. Um, so that's one reason. And two, I feel like I just get like more of an airbrush finish. I'm also someone that likes uh, medium to full coverage. Um, like if I'm going to put makeup on, I'm going to put makeup on. I'm not really someone that's going to do like that tinted moisturizer or anything like that. So... Like, if I was to do something like that, then it would make more sense for me to do a brush. 
but since like I said I do usually medium to full coverage foundations and stuff I'll usually stick to a sponge so here you can kind of see well it kind of looks so different like my eyes even look smaller like how my face on this side looks my skin tone looks a lot more evened out um, versus over here you can kind of see like my hyperpigmentation especially I I'm someone that actually likes to put her foundation on her eyelids kind of to prime them a little bit um, you can see the redness around my eyes um, a little bit of redness and over here you can kind of see that it's kind of like a smooth canvas so yeah I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and make sure to blend it down your neck Ooh, are y'all Cardi B fans because I love Cardi B I love Cardi B like whenever she comes on it's like her spirit is in me and I'm Cardi B does anyone else feel that way I feel that way about Cardi feel that way about Rihanna who else do I feel like that around Cardi and Rihanna are kind of my girls that I'm like yes like the reason why I like them is because they're bad as bosses right but they also know how to have fun like you know there's some other artists in the industry that are extremely great performers and everything like that but like show me your nasty side like we all have one don't be shy so that's why I like Cardi and Rihanna who do you guys like who's like your spirit animal are you more of like the extrovert or are you more of the introvert do you like to wear makeup when do you wear makeup like me personally I love makeup but I can't do it every day I personally cannot I love to do makeup I love to see what I can create also disclaimer I am NOT a makeup artist by any means I love makeup um, it's funny enough because when my sis, older sister got into makeup, I used to say that she looked like a clown. I was like, I'm not putting that in my face. And like when I first started using makeup, I would literally have no foundation on, put bronzer that was like orange, mascara, and blush, and that's it. And I was like, I'm popping. Girl. But I've learned from my days but yeah when do you guys are you an everyday makeup girl do you just like to glam up on like the holidays or on special events what do you guys like to do oh um next I'm taking the NYX dark circle uh corrector in light this is literally a lightsaver because even though like the foundation did a lot I like to uh correct my under eyes because I have some hyperpigmentation there so I literally just use my finger and tap that on there how were your holidays New Year's just passed um, December I know people are celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah Kwanzaa I don't know what other holidays but what did you guys celebrate during these past few weeks how did it go did you guys have a good holidays what's what's your favorite holiday tradition that's what I want to know leave a comment down below and let me know what's your favorite holiday tradition. Let's do that. Um, then I take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. Um, this is pretty much my same skin tone color. I'm not someone that really brightens or anything like that. I usually do that with powder, if anything. Um, and I'll just take that on the sides of my nose, right underneath my under eye I don't take it all the way because sometimes when you put too much then like it get like it creases too much so I'll just do that and I just do like three lines there same thing on the other side I do like a little something there down the bridge of my nose and on my chin and then I blend that in with the same sponge that I was using with um, my foundation So yeah guys tell me about you guys so where are you guys tuning in from I'm personally in Chelsea um, and people are like where's Chelsea it's right outside of Boston I'm from Massachusetts but I've lived kind of all over the place I also love to travel 
love to travel. I actually just got back from being in London and then I was in Venice, Italy and then I went to Paris and I went to Disneyland there so if you guys like travel, if you guys like to travel, where's your favorite destination you guys would like to go to? I have so many. I literally like in front of me like to my left is like a whole bunch of my destinations that I would love to go to and like Mexico's on there Spain Australia Australia is one of my biggest ones I really want to pet a koala um, but yeah do you guys have any travel plans for 2019 I know I have a few do I want to spoil it actually stay tuned for my next video and I'll tell you where I'm going next I'm actually going somewhere in two, three weeks actually. Um, so after I pretty much blend my life away with my concealer, um, I flipped the sponge to the other side, so there was the dirty side, and then there's this side. So I take a powder that is either close to my skin tone or a few shades lighter. This is a really old Revlon powder. I don't even know if this like exists anymore. But it's the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the shade 10 Fair. It looks like this. Um, but yeah, it's really, really old. I don't even know if they still have it anymore. But I really like it because it really, for my under eyes, it brightens them one because it's a few shades lighter. And it kind of just like erases my pores. Like, erases them. So I like to do that. For my under eye so what I'll usually do is I'll look up blend 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 and then I'm basically just trusting that I can get product I kind of look at it a little bit see if it has product and then I pat 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 I usually like to do my powders with oh, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you with the mirror um I usually like to do my powders with sponges because um I feel like it blends more easily and seamlessly um, into my skin and that's another way like I said that it kind of look like it makes it look less like cake face so again blend 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 take the powder look up I'll blend one more time and I'm flipping and making sure that I'm not using like the side where I use my foundation to my powder because sometimes I'll do that and I have done that in the past and what ends up happening is that sometimes on the sponge itself it kind of gets like goopy almost so I make sure to like flip it usually I use the like on the pure sponge there's like a bigger side and I use this for um, the foundation and then the smaller side I use it for powder because I usually just do the powder with the smaller side and then for the rest of my face to set the rest of my face I'll usually use the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 10 fair light I love 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 this powder um, I feel like it you know it's everything that you want in a setting powder it doesn't make you look too heavy um, like I said I like to do all of my powders with my sponge so I basically just dunk it in the sponge um and I'll just set the rest of my face with it alrighty now that we have all that everything is set locked and loaded um, what I like to do is I go in with two different powders and the reason why is because I use one to contour more um, and one to warm up my skin tone again this is really really old <laughs> this is the NYC color wheeled mosaic face powder um, in the shade what shade is this bronzed pink it used to be like mosaic and like thing and then it broke and then I did like that little thing where you like press it with alcohol and now it broke again when I was in London so I have to do it again but it works it still works um 
and I love it because it gives me a very natural shadow to my face. And what I like to use it with is um, the Real Techniques contour brush, um, just to kind of get the lines of my face, um, the lines of my face, the shadows of my face. Um, and I just press it. I always make sure to tap off the excess. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of excess, especially because it's like broken. And then I like to do this really cute face. <laughs> And then I kind of, when you do this, the reason why a lot of people do that is because when you go like this, you can even see it when I do it, that there's going to be shadows on my face. So when you look straight ahead, you'll see the shadows that are going to come up on your face. So I'm going to look in my mirror and I'm basically going to follow that guideline. And then I usually take it up to my temple a little bit and then a little bit on my hairline and my forehead because I have a giant forehead. But we embrace it. And then take a little bit more product, tap off the excess. And then same thing on the other side. I always take it down my jawline because again double chin <laughs> and yeah so that's just kind of like to do a little bit of shadow just a little bit of dimension on the face that's all and then with my morphe e4 love this brush it's so soft and it's literally just picks up the right amount of product i love it um i go with the bronze booster by precision formula in medium to dark um i love 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 Ooh, sorry love this product i just wish that there was more shades can we talk about that can we talk about how there's so many brands that don't have enough shades for everybody like there are companies that literally like I'm sometimes the middle shade and it's like I'm pretty light I'm pretty light so you should have like literally 20 to 30 more shades darker than me and physicians formula I love them and like for example this bronzer is amazing but I know that some of my viewers or whoever's viewing this um some of you guys might not be able to get it just because some brands don't even go as dark as your shade or as olive or different undertones like sometimes everything is really pink and i'm not that pink i'm really warm and like yellow sometimes everything's pink and i'm like come on so we need to do better in the beauty community i feel like last year we did a lot of step up rihanna kind of set it up for everybody but as a whole community we need to do better just in general like it shouldn't have to take rihanna or any celebrity for the beauty standard to be that we can have a shade for everybody like this should have been happening but we have to i guess embrace the change and embrace the the growth but it's like, come on, it's 2019 now. Let's get it together. Um, anyways, I go in after with uh, Milani Luminoso. This is like a fan favorite. And I'm using my Morphe 530 brush. I love it because it's natural hair, so it doesn't pick up a lot of product. And I'm personally not someone that likes a lot of blush. I'm more of a bronzer, warm up the skin tone. But I feel like blush does give you life to the cheeks. So I just kind of go on the apples of the cheeks, kind of brush it back. Go like that. Very cute. <laughs> and yeah, I don't do a lot. But what I do like about this blush is that it kind of gives you a little bit of a sheen. Because I don't like to be too matte. Um, so that's what I really like about this one. Um, we're pretty much almost done. We're gonna wait to do the highlighter because I do that one last and you'll see why in a second. Um, but first I'll actually do my eyebrows. Now, eyebrows are tricky. 
Um, my eyebrows. I don't even know where to start. Um, I just fill them in. Usually, here's a trick. I don't know. This is just for me something. Like, if I want to do something a little bit more natural, I'll just take, like, my big... Like, I don't want to blind you guys, but my big mirror like a regular mirror that you, or like even like your bathroom mirror and i'll just look at it and look at the sparse areas and that's it now when i want to do a little bit more of a bold brow i'll take a compact um a compact mirror this is like the milani luminoso one um and this is where i can really carve it out and kind of really see every nook and cranny that is non-existent in my brows so yeah going back to travel what do you guys like what's your bucket list items like where do you guys l would love to go like if you guys like before you like before 2019 or 20 whatever where is it that you guys want to go I was done with my eyebrows um and what I usually do is I will take and I'll actually do this a little bit more too now is I'll take my setting spray right now I'm using the NYX dewy finish setting spray and I'll actually spray it onto my second sponge um this is so you don't have to do this um this is just something that I personally do that I feel like has helped me um just kind of achieved a more like well blended look less cakey and stuff like that instead of just going straight with your setting spray which sometimes you can get the droplets depending on how fine the actual spray is like this is actually pretty good but if you're too close like you'll get the droplets um so what i like to do is i'll actually spray my sponge with the spray and i'll press that into my skin to set my actual face so I'll set my face with it and then after I set my face is when I go in with highlighter which I have already done a little bit because I'm extra I actually do this as well after I put in my highlighter and I set it again I actually put just a little bit on the very tip of my brush I'm using the morphe m501 I take it at the very tip and I just use it on the very like cheeks and high point of my cheekbones just a little bit more just to get that extra pop and then I usually hit the top of the eyebrow a little bit okay and that's usually how I set my face and put highlighter on. Um, the last thing that I do is my eyes. Um, and I'm actually very simple with this. I just noticed that I didn't set them, which I usually do when I set my under eyes. So what I'll do, literally just with my finger, the same powder that I used before, the Revlon Nearly Naked. Again, I don't think this is available anymore, but I'm going to check online and I'll leave it down in the description box below. And I'll just set it with my finger really simple um not do that with both eyes just to kind of set it because I do have hooded eyes so if I don't set it I'll I will get creases in my eyes because I did put foundation on them and that's Pretty much it I'll put some mascara on like when I'm feeling like really really fancy I'll throw in like a transition shade and an inner corner highlight um my go-to palette has been the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm sorry if you can't see that there's like really bright light um the Jaclyn Hill palette I love this palette I literally this is the only palette that I've been using Jaclyn Hill I love you girl but um, and I'll just use like a crease brush is the Morphe M433 and I'll just use the third color in the first row and I'll just buff that very like whatever in my crease just to have a little something something again this is not what I do like every time I do my makeup but when I do 
want a little little something on my eyes I'll just do a transition shade just to have some dimension in the eyes and then literally with my finger I'll take a shade that I like um, I'm gonna take the shade right next to the one that I use as a transition shade and I'll pop that in literally my index finger and pop that I put it from my inner corner all the way to my whole lid um, and I'll just put that in my eyes making sure to really get the inner corners to kind of brighten up the eyes and maybe I'll go in with the transition shade just a little bit just to kind of blend those two and that's it um, I'll put on a few layers of mascara, put on a lip, and I'm out the door. Um, the mascara that I'm using is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Bomb. Now, if I had more lashes, it would look nicer. <laughs> but, you know, you rock with what you got. Just a few layers of that. I usually don't do um, eyeliner, like black liner, because my eyes are already really small. So if anything, I kind of want to get into like the nude liner, but I usually don't like keep my under eyes really bare. And. Same with my lower lash line. I don't really um, use anything in my lower lash line either. I kind of like them to be bare so I could open up my eyes a little bit more. Because I feel like if I put too much in my lower lash line, it could kind of close up my eyes more than they already are. Because, like, my eyes are pretty small. So that's pretty much it. Then I'll put on a lip. And we're all done. I need to look for a lip. Um, literally one of my go-to, um, lipsticks is the Makeup Forever, um, lipstick in 6N, the Rouge Art Artist Natural. I don't know, I got, like, two or three of, like, the travel size ones. I don't know how I got them. I used to be in the Sephora Playbox, so I feel like that's where I got it from. But I really like it because it's, like, a very neutral um neutral everyday kind of lip so i'll take this and just kind of put it on what i like about it too is that it's not too matte either it's very comfortable it's like a satin finish i would say cream satin finish and this is pretty much the finished look what do you guys think um so thank you so much for watching um this was an awesome first video i think um let me pop these glasses on um so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope to see you guys back on any day or night wherever you guys are coming from and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>